Hello everybody, my name is Rojo and welcome back to Battletech. Last time we uh, made ourselves a quick draw out here in Clough's stand, what a name. Uh, however, we uh, do have a priority mission all the way over here in Archru, where we're going to uh, be raiding uh, basically like some old fort for some ancient tech, one hopes. But uh, we do have a, uh, a travel contract opportunity on the way, so I think we're going to do that, even though uh, we do have a couple interesting options here, uh, like Stubborn Surrender, which is like a thinly veiled reference to uh, essentially Confederate, <laughs> like uh, people flying the Confederate flag in America. Um, and then this thing where we have to assassinate a movie star, <laughs> which is uh, interesting, but it says here he's got to have... Uh, He's gonna have two full lances of escorts. I think I'll pass. Thank you very much. Um, as far as our mech bay is concerned, I uh, I did tweak the uh, the the quick draw a little bit. Of course, put some more armor on it. We'll take a look at it later. Uh, and uh, tweaked uh, the Jaeger mech a little bit. Took some armor off so that I could fit the uh, the targeting uh, system on it that will improve our missile accuracy because that seems like a good idea. And then, uh, as far as the range finder we picked up, I'm going to put it on the Shadow Hawk, I think. Because uh, that's probably the mech that's most likely to be close up early on in combat, initiative-wise. Um, so once that gets fixed up, I will um, put in an order to, uh, to take care of that. We're going to have a financial report coming soon. As far as our mech warriors go, uh, let's take a quick look at people. Book. Uh, you have guts. We're going to give you... Just more gunnery, I think. Piloting? Actually, yeah, we'll give you that for the unsteady threshold as well. Mech warrior training complete. So it looks pretty good myself. I'm gonna give myself one more point here, and then uh, I think I may go for the extra heat threshold. Training complete. And uh, let's see. Reading you. You will give you a uh, juggernaut, I think. And uh, your gunner could actually do with a little bit of improving. I think we'll uh, go with something... Something a little bit like that for now. Training confirmed, Commander. Okay. And Starman. Starman, I'm just going to send up the, uh, the gunnery tree some more, I think. Ooh, actually, you know what? I'm going to give him that. Mech warrior training complete. Overheat threshold is really good. Um, so we'll give him that and then we'll send him for some more uh, some more gunnery training, I think. Aside from that, maybe Decker will be better by the time we uh, get to this next mission. I'm not sure. But uh, the only other thing we need to worry about is our ship upgrades. And uh, I've been thinking about getting this for the faster travel time, but it doesn't really matter if we have faster travel time. If by the time we get there, we still have to wait a bunch of days for our mechs to get done or people to heal. So I'm actually going to go for this instead, automation. Uh, it's not going to take that long, and uh, it'll give us a nice boost to our tech points. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. It's one of our older upgrade options as well. So with all that done, we can now go to contracts. We will accept robbery. This is going to be a uh, an ambush mission, which uh, you know, <laughs> who knows how how it's going to go, but. A team of uh, Canopian agents has obtained the schedule and manifest of a pirate convoy. The convoy's cargo is extremely valuable technological components. We want you to steal them for us, stage an ambush of the convoy, destroy the vehicles, and we'll send in a recovery team to gather the cargo. There's a bonus if you secure the area and eliminate all the convoy guards. If this cargo is valuable enough to pay us to steal it, it's going to be extremely well defended. Be prepared. Yes. Could be reinforcements. You never know. I think we'll go for uh, something like this. Calculating course now, Commander. And away we go. I've got the financial report. Ah, yes, the financial report. Uh, we will stay with just normal funds here. Our nest egg is just about gone, Commander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see the thing. I'm not blind. Shadowhawk needs one more day. There we go. So we'll do that. And then we'll just go ahead and put in uh, one more quick little order here for uh, for this guy. Ooh, 
Ooh, actually, I guess I, I can't put it on the Shadowhawk, can I? Not without getting rid of this SRM-4. Hmm. That presents a little bit of a dilemma. Yes, it does. Hmm. I think... This is just not the right mech to put it on. I think I'll just, uh... Consider putting it on someone else. Maybe, uh... I think the, I can't put it on the Grasshopper. Uh, so maybe I'll put it on the, the, uh, the Quick Draw. Initiative-wise, it's not really the right mech, but, uh, it, I, there's no reason to not put it on it that I can think of. Uh, I could put it on my Jaeger mech as well, I guess. Uh, but uh, ideally, I should be uh, kind of out of the line of direct fire anyway, uh, in a lot of situations. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to put it on the quick draw. Uh, we'll see uh, See if we, if we uh, have time to do that before the next mission here. I'm not even sure if the quick draw will be ready by then. Uh, no, it will be just... I mean, we can wait an extra day, probably. That work order is complete, boss. Top oh. notch work, if I may say so. Okay, automation is done. Um, that should actually help out our situation here a little bit. Uh, as far as uh, upgrades though, we'll go for something inexpensive just to uh, bide our time here. Like how about a gym for a little bit of extra morale? Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. So we are going to be financially in a little bit of trouble here, but we've uh, we've been in this situation many a time before. We're nearly broke, Commander. So I'm not too worried about that. Unless this mission goes real, real, real bad. Uh, don't proceed yet. Let me go to the mech bay real quick. And uh, go to our quick draw. We can see what I did with it. Not not too much. Um, mostly just up the armor. Got this cool SRM2 that I put on it. Which uh, has uh, quite a lot of bonuses. And then we've got a, uh, a decent LRM5. And... Uh, Mostly, more, more or less the same, just a little, a little different with more armor. But uh, let's go ahead and get that Rangefinder Plus on here. So that'll take a day. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. And uh, it seems like actually there's no store here. Oddly enough, there's a hiring hall. Sicilian. Confirmed. Sasquatch. Yes, Commander. Rawhide. What's up, boss? Overhead. Receiving you. Lacely. Commander. And Crook. Yes, Commander. Haha. <laughs> Got the bandit mask. Uh, I'm not going to hire any of these people. So we will uh, simply wait one day. Oh, we'll wait two days. I wrapped up that job you okay. asked for. Okay. <laughs> uh, the Centurion got repaired a little bit ahead of time. That's fine. It doesn't really matter too much. Um, let us go ahead and we'll pop down a save and begin. Unfortunately, uh, Decker is still out. And uh, I haven't refit the Centurion with anything too terribly uh, interesting at all. Well, I haven't refitted it at all, so uh, there's that. Uh, we will replace... Let's see... I'm thinking, who's going to go in what? Maybe I'm going to put Starman in the uh, the 2D here, as I often do. And then we'll put Book in the Quick Draw. And I think we should be uh, pretty much good to go here. we got three and a half thingies of uh, drop tonnage, which should be enough for a two and a half mission. One would hope. 
So, uh, yeah, here we go. Main objective, destroy the supply convoy, convoy rather, and escape, and then, uh, optionally, kill the guards. Command interface initiated. Should be doable. Uh, looks like the intel was accurate. Uh, we're tracking multiple vehicles in the area. Let's move up and make contact. Once we start shooting the convoy, we'll probably make a break for it and intercept them. Once they're dealt with, head to evac. So this is a Martian environment. Shall we get this over with so we can leave this abomination of a planet? Book is not happy to be here. Ooh, partial vacuum. Only 75% heat reduction. That's not so good. Trying to find any semblance of a road here, but I really don't see one. That's the edge of the map right there. I guess they're going to go this way, maybe? Or up, maybe up through there? I, I'm really not sure. But, uh... So we may as well get to it, huh? Let's get everybody up. No contacts yet. Just thinking about where we might be able to go for cover here. There, it is pretty hilly terrain, so... That is, uh, something. Reporting. Everybody just moves up. Primary target there we go. Commander. Ooh, that's a lot of them. <laughs> Quick draw 4G, an SRM carrier. Oh, boy. SRM carrier, a manticore, a striker, and an unknown vehicle. Well, we, we know... Just like objectively, that this SRM carrier has got to go. What is this? Whirlwind. Reduces movement and spotting. Right, we've seen these before. It's cover. Cover for Martian planets. You're going to have a great chance to hit. So let's do it. No sweat. A little vigilance. Little, uh, little alpha strike on the old SRM carrier here so that we never have to see it again. You betcha. Primary target is damaged, Commander. Scratch another target. Good start. I feel bad about shooting the little guys. <laughs> Don't. Don't. Those things are, uh, the spawn of Satan. Uh, alright. Manicore has a nice assortment of weapons. Striker, I'm not too worried about. What about you? The Demolisher. You have got to go, my friend. You cannot be suffered to live. We'll start with some LRMs on it. And then we'll adjust from there. It's got cover, unfortunately. But we will hit with most of these missiles. All of the missiles, perhaps. Okay. How are we? How are we doing here? We got a pretty good uh, awaiting orders. Bit of damage on the front armor there. That's a bad idea. This is perhaps a slightly better idea. I'm going to jump him over to here. And uh, we're just going to keep keep working on this demolisher. Every little bit helps. So hopefully we only 
take one uh, one salvo of missiles from it or whatever, and then we can uh, never worry about it again. Or not missiles, but uh, AC-20 shots. Okay, Mockingbird. Standing by. I'm gonna jump ya. More demolisher, please. All right, let's see what he does. He's going after my Shadowhawk. I mean, he is uh, braced and everything. Doesn't mean I'm not worried about him. Ooh, and they have a Cataphract. We've seen one of those before. Ow. Ow. Could have been worse. Okay, there goes the Manticore. And then the Big Daddy. Okay, could have been way worse. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. Yes, you are. All right, we're going to Vigilance you once again. Get rid of that stability damage. Move you to like right there. And uh, we're gonna let this thing have it. Thank God. One less vehicle. So that vehicle is part of the escort, not part of the convoy. Now that that's been taken care of, let's, uh, maybe see about knocking some of these guys over, huh? I'm gonna jump myself over to here. And uh, the, the Cataphract is a, a super heavy mech, so I'm going to go for this quick draw and see if I can make him unstable. Engaging target. Oh yeah, no sweat. And we got a head hit. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. That's another vehicle back there, is it not? <laughs> I'm going to like... Let like book and stuff, uh, and maybe a grasshopper lady uh, come over here, Mockingbird. Commander. And vigilance with you. We'll move you up like so. Maybe should have gone with book first, actually, but. Uh, too late for that. Did not kill it. All right, book. I'm going to have you kind of still chase them, I think. But, uh, I'm going to have you shoot the, uh, the quick draw. I think he can knock him over. Yes, he can. Nicely done. Not that it's going to matter, he's going to get right back up and get to go, but, uh... My, uh, concern is mostly that we, uh... Just keep him, uh, keep him busy. Here we go, he's getting back up.
And he's jumping. A lot of damage on that arm. I don't love it. And we got this big vehicle. If I can, I will melee it. They give me the chance. I'm hit. Oh man. <laughs> Minimal damage. As long as you didn't get hit in the face with a PPC, I guess you're all right. Commander. All right, now Starman gets to go. Go ahead and uh, let's do a back attack on this uh, hunchback here. Nice. Okay, my turn, Mockingbird. Uh, I wish I could Vigilancy, so... I'm gonna wait uh, with you, I think. I'm gonna keep following this convoy as best I can. Tempted to shoot him, but I think uh, instead I'm going to give the AC a little bit of a rest here. And uh, I'm going to go for this uh, this guy here. So that hopefully we can start wearing them down a bit. Reading you. Received. Take off one of those. Let's make sure this guy at least dies. Copy that. Okay. It's one more down. I was kind of hoping to vigilance her, but it didn't seem like it was quite going to work out. I need to make sure I get this vehicle out of here, though. And by out of here, I mean dead. <laughs> you have orders? Yeah, you keep chasing. Maybe you should have even just jumped him. Got lucky if that was a miss. What is your plan? I wonder, probably to shoot me, I would assume. A little bit of structure exposed on the back. We're okay though. You can see daylight through my armor. You're gonna be fine. Not to worry. Fortunate miss there. Okay, Starman. Waiting for orders. I think I'm gonna probably have you melee this guy again, honestly. We'll vigilance you at least, just in case they decide to shoot you. There we go, he's at least unsteady now, so I should be able to knock him over. However, my first priority is really getting these vehicles taken care of. 
And that's going to involve shooting this guy in the back, I think. Just barely at our, at our heat All threshold. Okay, lead vehicle's down. Feeling better about this, I think. I think Book and uh, myself can clean up the mana core. I'm gonna send uh, send her in to, to help out Starman here. I think. That could have been worse. Yes, it could have. I'm here. I could death from above him. I think I'll pass. And uh, we'll move up like so. And uh, I think I'm going to go for... Uh, I guess I'm going to go for this guy, actually. Take off a couple of lasers. I did actually put another plus plus laser on her. Uh, it's got uh, some extra crit on it. I don't know, still though. Ah, uh, you know what? No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for the quick draw. Engaging target. No, he's in cover. For just that reason, but I didn't. Reporting critical hit. Oh, we did knock him down. I don't know how. <laughs> he sh should be out. Yeah, nice. Okay, good. How might I help? This is going uh, going very well here. Alright, see if we can get a good hit on the rear armor here. Uh, we're gonna have to turn off that. Turn off that and that, unfortunately, but uh, so be it. Vigilance with you just in case. He's got quite a bit of armor on him. Don't have much time to get this guy. Really don't. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. Commander? All right, let's uh, go ahead and melee this cataphract now. I think. Right in the back. Nicely done. All right, we'll move you up like so, Consider it done. and we'll see if we can uh, get some more good damage done here. Uh, a little overheat you. We'll just shoot with this. The shot. Slowly but surely. I should be able to finish this guy off, I think. Take off the lasers. Oh, man. Guess I'm going to shoot him with the auto cannon. Oh, it's not going to be enough. Shoot him with the laser and the auto cannon. Oh, my God. The miss. What a miss. Unbelievable. I might have to use uh, her to take this guy out. I don't know. I don't know if she's going to be able to get in range. Yes, Commander. My jumper. Probably going to take some structure damage on this one. Don't want her to, like, actually shut down. So I guess we'll. this is as far as we'll go. Target lock on enemy six. Oh my god, he didn't die. Oh, don't get away. I don't think he will. I might, we might have one more turn. Woo!
Okay. Really need to get eyes on him. Good to go. If I'm going to accomplish much of anything. Mainly you again, I guess. Starman's doing fine at taking the care of this guy for me. Uh, I'm gonna reserve, I guess. They're getting an angle on me. You're fine. Okay. Yes, Commander. Book. Don't let me down. You will overheat if you do this, but I kind of feel like we're in a situation where we really need this guy to die. Miss with both the missiles. Oh, thank God. Okay. So we're going to have some repairs to do for sure. But uh, we should be fine from here on out. Goodbye, sir. Yes, you did. Still only unsteady? I guess he wasn't unsteady before. Amazing. What a... What a fellow. Engaging jump jets. I can't even shoot him with anything because it's just too hot. I'm going to overheat either way, so I'm going to shoot him with the autocannon. At least knock him over. So much structure damage from overheating this time. Warning. Heat exceeding recommended level. Commander? All right, Starman. Finish him off if you would please. So many crits. Critical hit, Commander. As for myself, uh, I doubt I'm going to be able to get much done here. Uh, I can go for a headshot with the auto cannon, I guess. Engaging target. That'll work. Okay. Not going to get much good salvage out of this, I, I'm guessing, but, uh... Oh well. Hopefully we have enough money to do repairs and still make it to where we need to go. Otherwise, we may need to stick around and do another mission. There we go, got a 25% boost, that helps a little bit. Everybody got structure damage this time. And she uh, got hurt, I didn't see for how long. Um, well, we could build another quick draw right now. We already have one of these. But uh, we could... Oh, we can't sell because there's no shop here. <laughs> um. In that case, yeah, I'll just take... I'll take two quick draw parts. We'll work on a cataphract just for some variety. See what else we get. Hey, we did get the quick draw part. We got an AC-20, which is quite nice to have as well. SRM 6s, PPC, we got, we got some stuff that's worth a decent amount. So that worked out quite well, actually. I know that we can scrap a mech for money if we, uh, if we have to, since there's no shop here, but I'd really prefer to just sell it for, uh, the, you know, however much we can get for it instead. Okay. Uh, you, my friend, will go to storage. Cool. Well, that could have gone far worse. We do have enough money to uh, 
to make it to our next destination, I assume. Let's uh, take a look at navigation real quick and just see what we're looking at. There's even another co travel contract on the way. We just do travel contracts all the way over there. It's still going to take 33 days to get there, though. Oh, my God. Uh, contracts. War criminal. So an assassination mission to, on Kimi, um, which is sort of on the way, but probably isn't going to reduce our travel time uh, all that much, honestly. Well, let's let's see what we're we're working with here first. Repair, a couple days. Repair, a couple days. Oh, this is—it's not too much out of our bottom line here, really. Definitely not going to do another mission here, though. Yeah. It's going to take a week just to get our shit repaired. Uh, so we'll definitely either go for the next... Uh, the next big story mission, or we'll, we'll do that next contract that's on the way. Um, instead of sticking around here. And um, go from there.